Morning goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today Mr. Emmett is leaving for his new home. So this here is Emmett Golden. He is a very, very gorgeous little buckling and he's got a very great personality. Very glad that this one sold actually. He is one that caught my eye from the very beginning. He's one that I like to watch just simply because he's so pretty. Uh, he's got great conformation. He's pulled, which is also a uh, very cool trait. And because he's pulled, some of his kids have the potential to be pulled. Now, pulled just simply means naturally hornless, uh, which is something that's really neat to have in your herd, just because disbudding is not the funnest thing in the world. So, he's a really gorgeous little guy. And as you can tell, he definitely has a silly personality, which he gets from his daddy, Lucky. Now Emmett here is a star B buckling. So what a star B buckling would be is on the sire side or his daddy side, the grandma has to have their milk star as well as his mom or dam has to have their milk star as well. So simply put, he's from really good milk lines, um, heavy milkers. So obviously they're dairy goats. That's something that's very good. So he is already a little star B milker. So half of his star status is obviously from his sire, who happens to be Lucky, um, and Lucky's dam, or mom, is Lacey, and Lacey has her milk star. And the other half of his star status is coming from his dam, or his mom, who happens to be Elsa. The water is a goat's favorite thing. Not really. He's actually not doing too bad, though. Check him out. Maybe he kind of likes a bath, like his daddy Lucky. Maybe? Not so much, Emmett. So his mommy, Elsa, earned her milk star as a first freshener, um, and that was on the one-day milk test, and that is hard to do. So she makes a lot of milk. She's extremely dairy. She's got very nice skin, very large teats. Um, so he's also going to throw kids with large teats and kids that can put milk in the pail. So he's going to be a really, really good herd sire. So funny story, when I took this little guy to get his vet check, she was checking him and she just kind of stopped in her tracks and said, how old is he? And I said, he's about three months old. And she was like, why are his balls so big? So it was a little funny, especially for a vet to say, um, and he is very well endowed. He's gonna be a good herd sire again. Almost done, buddy. Hey, almost done. All right. <laughs> Here's where you lose it. Calm down, mister. It's okay. just want to point out his cute little Elvis bangs. They are adorable. It is so cute when a buck gets those. Isn't it? So now he's all clean and looking beautiful and he's soft. Um, so before we ever send our goats off, we always want to make sure that they are good, healthy, clean. Their feet look really good, which I actually did his feet a week ago, but he could probably just use a little more off. He's got really good feet. So, just a little bit of growth. So today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th, guys. Um, and our small town usually makes a huge deal about the 4th, and it's really, really fun, actually. Um, there's a big parade. Everybody hangs out in the park. There's music. Kids play and they get squirt, you know, hosed down by the firemen. Um, so anyway, really, really big deal. But all of that, obviously, this year has been canceled. So that's kind of a bummer. On another note, um, something else that got canceled, I was getting a little excited because the club that I'm in, SADGA, uh, we were attempting to put on an actual goat show. So after everything got canceled and thought, bummer, no shows this year, um, we just kind of put out feelers the club did to see, you know, maybe we can get a show and, and who would be interested in coming. Well, the turnaround, or I'm sorry, the 
outcome to that was hundreds of goats were going to be showing up. Everybody was really excited about it. And, and then as soon as everybody got excited, right before we actually went ahead and got our sanctions and everything, uh, we had to cancel it. So just with everything going on and there's now more restrictions in our state, so bummer. We were so close to having a show. Not this year, guys. All right, so this pretty boy here is all set. He's good to go. He is up to date on his shots. He's been wormed. He's got his health check. So he is ready. Now the health check, if they're leaving state lines or crossing state lines rather, they have to have a health check, which is just simply states, you know, the, the vet gives them a good one over and checks them to make sure he doesn't have any contagious diseases or anything um, horrible that would be traveling from state to state, obviously. So, but he's good and he's so friendly. This dude is gonna be traveling a long ways away from what he knows as home. He is going to be a herd sire up in Massachusetts. So it's gonna be pretty different from him, but he's gonna be well. He's gonna have some girly friends and just be an awesome little dude in Massachusetts. I'm just gonna hook this guy up right here. He is gonna be leaving to meet the transporter in about 30 minutes. He's got about a 30 minute drive to the transporter. And then he's got about 3,000 miles to Massachusetts. So he's got a long journey ahead of him. He's been a really good boy, and I will miss you. But he's going to a good home. So there are eight remaining bucklings in this pen here. Two of them are going to be kept as our herd sires, obviously. We got Legend and Vader in here. But the other six they are getting banded tomorrow. So it's gonna be a big day for six of those boys in there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Big, 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 big. <laughs>